Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss further into differential equations and now look further into the predator predator prey systems and go over example two and I'll go over part one of this video series. And that's just because I wanted to save some time. So in part one I'll go over A and B and in the next part I'll go over part C and D. So stay tuned for that. So now let's go over uh, this example. So it states in example one and here's a link to that video. Yeah, so you make sure to watch that. This is part one of it. You can go to the video description, click the link to uh, see the notes. Yeah, and here you can see the notes just to quickly review. These were the Lodka Volterra equations I went over. So dr, dt, we had kr minus arw and this one over here. And then for those specific values, only thing we're changing now is we're changing this growth rate of the rabbits or the, the prey to a logistic model instead of this 0.08r. Um, we're going to keep this as is, but we're going to change it so that we have this over here, yeah, which is 0.08R, 1 minus 0.0002, etc. But we'll get to that in a bit. So in example one, we use Lotka Voltaire equations to model populations of rabbits and wolves. So make sure to watch that to get caught up. So now let's modify those equations as follows. We'll go with the prey or the rabbit population as equaling dr over dt, the growth rate equals 0.08R times 1 minus 0.0002R times, uh, and then you subtract it minus uh, 0.001RW. So basically this rabbit population grows in a logistic model uh, form and then it decreases when there's presence of wolves by this factor there. And the wolf population is just dying off at dw over dt equals to negative 0.02w but increases whenever there's rabbits presence based on this term of 0.00002rw. Yes, yeah, so now let's move forward and let's go over uh, part a of example uh, two. So according to, the, to these equations, what happens to the rabbit population in the absence of wolves? Well, as expected, as you can see, if this is wolves are zero, we just have a logistic equation. So we just get the typical logistic equations. So make sure to watch my earlier videos on that. So part A, if W equals to zero, yeah, then what we have is again, so this uh, negative 0.01, 0.001RW, this goes to zero. All we're left with is this first part. So then the growth rate, so if this, thus the growth rate dr over dt, equals to 0.08 r and then we just have the one minus and then minus 0.0002 r like that. Yeah, so now recall that this is just the logistic equation. We just need to fix this form a bit and what we'll do is uh, 0 0.0002. Yeah, it's the same thing as if we were multiplied by the number of decimal places of one, two, three, four. So we have four zeros just to get rid of the decimal places and four zeros at the bottom. So then, the, so then what we end up having is this goes all the way to two over 1,000, I mean 10,000, and then two over 10,000, same thing as writing one over 5,000, like that. So that is what the term equals. So what we have is dr over dt is equal to 0.08 r, one minus, and then we'll have an r over 5,000, which looks just like the logistic equation, which in fact it is like that. Yes, yeah, so now if you recall the logistic equation, which I covered in my earlier video, we can click here. Yes, yeah, so from this video, uh, you could again view the notes here just to review. Yeah, and this video was uh, on example one of the logistic equation where it looks something like this. And for this specific example, we had dp over dt equals to 0.08p, then 1 minus. Uh, P over a thousand where K is uh, in this case equal to a thousand so the graph looks something like this is a bit cut off but anyways it goes up like this and then it approaches the K equals to a thousand same thing with when it's above the uh, carrying capacity uh, K and approaches closer towards it so this is, this is the exact same equation exact same scenario yeah so for our case here what happens to the rabbit population if we were to graph it roughly it would look something like this. So with time, R with time, and then let's say we had a carrying capacity here, draw them dashed lines like that, and this one right here is K. So in this case we have K equals to 5, 
thousand. So that's this k over there. What we end up happening is if we start off from here, uh, we basically approach it like that. And then same thing with above, we approach the uh, carrying capacity like that eventually. Let's make it a bit rounder like that. Yeah, and it's just approaching k, etc. Even if you start off from here, it just approaches k. So that's what would happen to the rabbit population if uh, if there were no wolves. So that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, so uh, the rabbit population would stabilize or basically level off at 5,000 rabbits, like that. So let's look at part B. And part B states, find all the equilibrium solutions and explain their significance. And again, remember equilibrium solutions are when the derivatives of both are equal to zero. In other words, the growth rates aren't changing. So the populations aren't changing. So let's go over to that. Yeah, and here, uh, before we get to that again, so thus in the absence of wolves, the rabbit population stabilizes at 5,000. Just want to put that note for reference. So part B, so R and W are constant. Uh, in other words, we get the equilibrium solutions when the derivatives are prime equals zero and W prime equals zero. So let's look at what happens when the rabbit population growth rate is equal to zero. So R prime equals two, well, same thing as dr over dt, and this equals two, let's go back up here. So the, the we have it over here, and then minus 0.001 rw, in this case, I'll just write that as over 5,000. Yes, yeah, so let's go back here and write this as 0 0.08, and then this is gonna be r, one minus r over 5,000, just a simplified version of it, then minus 0.001 rw, again, I just wanna go for reference, Kind of forgot it. So yeah, that's correct there. And this one is negative 0 0.02 w, and then this is rw with four zeros and a two there, just for reference. So when we set this equal to zero, yeah, w what we have to do now is find what kind of values for r and w do we need to in order to get uh, zero there, where the der derivative is always zero. So let's first of all let's uh, take out this r, uh, just factor that out. So this is the same thing as writing r like that, and then we have this, put a bracket like that, 0 0.08, and then we have this one minus r over 5,000, and then we take so we take out the r there, and we take out this r, so we have minus uh, 0 0.01, 0, 0, 001 uh, w, like that. Yeah, and where this equals to zero. So uh, what we have now is, well, two scenarios, either this equals to zero, r equals zero, or this whole term equals to zero. And then this, uh, this makes the whole derivative equal to zero. Now we'll get back to this in a second, but first let's go over the w prime. So, and the reason is because we need to solve these solutions simultaneously because the differential equations are linked together. This is dw, not dr. So dw over dt, so y prime, I mean, w prime is equal to dw over dt, and this equals two negative point uh, zero two, if I remember, and then we have plus, let me just double check, so it was negative point zero two w, four zeros to rw, that's just a bit confusing. And then one, two, three, four, and then this is two, R W. Yeah, now where this is, we set it equal to zero. So the same thing, doing the same thing, we factor out the W, so we get W out like that, negative 0.02 plus 0 0.00002, and then we have this R there, and this equals to zero. So again, we have two uh, cases where, where W is equal to zero, or this whole term is equal to zero. So now let's look at the different cases where we can have both of the derivatives equal to zero. So remember, it's, it's and, so you have to do uh, both of them simultaneously. So let's look at case one. Yes, yeah, so case one is the simple one where, well, if you set uh, r equal to zero, so if r is equal to zero, this whole thing goes to zero. So r equals to zero, and then when that's r is zero, this right here becomes just a constant negative 0.02 because that goes to zero. The negative 0.02 times w equals zero, that's the only way it's possible is if w is equal to zero. So and w is equal to zero. So we have the first case, which is the trivial one. Basically, if there's no rabbits, uh, there is uh, no rabbits and wolves, obviously the population's gonna remain the same as in 
non-existent. And now the uh, case two. Case two is, well, we already saw this in part, uh, part A because if we set w is equal to zero, so if we have this equal to zero, this whole thing goes to zero, and then what we have is this case right here, this w is zero, then we were, what we're left with, with is this 0 0.08 times one minus r over 5,000. And as, again, as uh, shown, that's just a logistic equation. So as you approach k is 5,000, what you end up having is, well, it's approaching, you're approaching a flat line, or a, in this case, you could see it, the derivative of the rabbit is flat line. And, and again, we've already solved that this stabilizes at 5,000. So in other words, the, the growth rate um, is become zero and the population stops increasing. So from A, so we could also solve this. You'll see it's the same thing. You just get 5,000. So then what we have is and R is equal to 5,000 rabbits. So that's the case two. When we have no wolves, we just have the logistic equation. And I'll write here, this is from A, like that. And now case three is the only other option. So basically case three, what we have, let's remove that. So case three is over here. When we set this part equal to zero and W is not equal to zero. So what we have is, I'll just bring this one down. So we get a negative 0 0.02 plus 0 0.00002 RW and set this equal to zero. So when we do this, we can solve for R. So R becomes, and move this 0 0.02 on the other side, divide by 0 0.00002, we get R is equal to a positive 0 0.02 over 0 0.00002. And then, yeah, so this is what R is equal to, and let's just solve this and what we could do is multiply the top and bottom by the number of digits here's one two three four five so five zeros so this is one two one two three in other words we have a hundred thousand two one two three just so that this decimal place goes away so what we get is this equals two then the, the top is we move it to the right five times so one two and then one two three so we have that's five so we have three zeros, in other words, 2,000. In the bottom, we moved it all the way, so we get divided by two. So this equals two, yeah, divided by two equals two, 1,000 rabbits. So that's what we have there. Yeah, so R is not equal to zero. W is also, uh, well, we could, we'll find out what W is. And that's when we just plug this inside here. So we have R is not equal to zero, so then this term has to equal to zero. That's the only other case. So we could plug in our R value there. Yes, so what we get now is, well, this 0 0.08, and then one minus R over 5,000, and then we minus 0 0.001, and then W, like that. Yeah, and set this equal to zero. So just to double check, we have the right equation. So here, so 0 0.08, one minus R over 5,000, and then we have this minus 0 0.001 and then W like that. Yeah, so the next thing I'll do is I'll just move this over to this side and then uh, what we end up having is and then just add our, our 1000 into here. So we get a 0 0.081 minus 1000 over 5000 like that equals to 0 0.001 W. And yeah, we could uh, simplify this. 1,000 over 5,000 is just 1 over 5. So that's 1, this becomes 5. And then we will divide this out onto this side. So this 0 0.01 out. So what we end up having is a W is equal to 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.001 and then a 1 minus 1 over 5. So yeah, now the next step is, well, this common denominator of one, that's just, well, uh, then with this one over five, that's just times it by five over five, and then also get rid of this point zero zero one. These decimal places, what we'll do is multiply by the top and bottom by a thousand, so that well, this goes to the right one, two, three, this goes one, two, and then uh, three, so we have an 80. So this equals to 80, and then this just goes to one, and then we have a five over five minus one over five, that's just uh, four over five. 
And now we could just multiply this out. This is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I want to do this in my head. Actually, a good way to do this is, well, write this, because uh, there is an 80, there's a zero there. Multiply this by two over two so that we get 80 over, uh, now if two times four is eight, and then we have two times five is 10, like that. So then this cancels with this, and we're just left with uh, equals to eight times eight. And we all know eight times eight is just 64. Yeah, so W is equal to 64. So what we have is thus the other equilibrium solution is R equals to 1000 and W is simultaneously equal to 64 at the same time. So when we have these scenarios, these three cases, when there's either R is equal to zero, W is equal to zero, or R equals 1000, W equals to 64, the wolves, or W, or there's no wolves and there's 5,000 rabbits. All of these means the populations of both are steady and they're not changing. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, yeah, in, in the next video, I'll go over part uh, C and D of this in part two, so stay tuned for that. And it was all for today. If you learned, and this is a pretty interesting video. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.